Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Give us enough people who move at fast enough pace, who listen to enough of the public, and you've got a broken standard. That is uh, overlooked, and accepted as the new way. <laughs> it's, it's a new generation. It's a new style of life, preacher. Wake up. Back off. Take the edge off. Don't get so intense. Oh, indeed it is new. Over the KABC talk show some time ago, Anna Sklar, the, author, the authoress of Runaway Wives, was interviewed. She stated, Ten years ago, for every wife or mother who walked away from responsibilities of her home and family, 600 men did. Today, only 10 years later, for every man who walks away, two wives do. In a uh, very penetrating article entitled, Let's Preserve Family Life, it commented on a large sign that is displayed in a Hollywood jewelry store, and it has been there for some months. It reads, We Rent Wedding Rings. Dr. George Maser of the USC Medical School in a medical journal some time back wrote this, the decline of modern marriage has reached a point where the happily married couple is an oddity. Dr. James Hemming, for many years the psychological voice of the British Isles, writes, weddings will be rituals of the past. Face it. Couples will wed, if at all, only after they've lived together. Another authority who is now teaching in a, in a uh, well-known university says, it's stupid to force a 50-year contract on a 20-year-old girl. I, I have observed that there are three very obvious results of this enormous cage. Number one, there is a permissiveness that would have never been tolerated in the Christian world uh, 20 years ago. An acceptable permissiveness. Second, there is, a, there is bread in that permissiveness and irresponsibility. And the irresponsibility says, if it's painful, get out. If you don't like it, leave, run. Which is the third, escapism. There is a permissiveness followed by an irresponsibility in mindset that says when the pressure gets great enough, get out. This is no theoretical, irrelevant, cranky preacher talking about something that touches all of the society but ours. This is here, it is now. And it seemed to me to be only fair to deal with it at least for a Sunday or two rather than waltz along and whistle in the dark and act like it's somebody else's problem because it is brewing. And if the truth were known, it is a battleground right now in some homes right now that still happen to be together. Well, the media doesn't help, does it? If you are old enough to remember Dagwood, you remember what a dummy he was in the Bumstead home. And the one who came out on top all the time was a charming, brilliant, attractive gal named Blondie, to whom he turned constantly for the wise decisions. And then a kind of a flip-flop role is all in the family. So that the man, when he is seen as an authority, is now an authoritarian in the form of Archie Bunker. And it conveys the idea to kiddos who watch that and to couples who watch it, that's what it means to be in charge of your home. Your commitment is what binds you and your spouse together, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. And it's your unconditional love for one another that strengthens that commitment. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Commitment is the Key, Part 1, was copyrighted in 1978 
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2013 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.